Usually in a WWE game's career mode, you have the final match in the story, you win it and the credits roll. And that's it, nothing unexpected happens at all. But there have been some moments in WWE game's career modes where we thought the game was actually over, but surprise, it wasn't over just yet. These are the times you thought a WWE game's career mode was finished, but surprisingly it wasn't over just yet. Don't ignore me! History will be made tonight! You can feel the electricity in the air! Stone Cold Steve Austin and Triple H. When you played SmackDown Just Bring It Story Mode for the first time, you probably wanted to just win the WWE Championship first, no matter how many times Mr. McMahon keeps on offering a tag team title shot that no one ever seems to want. I mean, really. Vince says he has a huge <laughs> opportunity for you and then follows it up with a tag team title shot offer. Thanks for getting my hopes up, Vince. And with the way he makes things sound better than they actually are, I'm totally expecting a so-called incredible contract to come through. That is actually just a 40% pay cut from the previous one. Now getting that WWE Championship match is quite easy. All you have to do is win literally just two matches, and then it's time for the big last man standing WrestleMania main event. If you got to this part, and it just went all wrong with your superstar not getting up before the 10 count. You probably thought at this point that it's over. The dream of being the king of SmackDown Just Bring It remains just a dream. But before that feeling really sinks in, you'll see a cutscene that made you think, wait a minute, what's going on here? Mick Foley in a referee shirt will run down to the ring and announce a rematch will take place right now due to some unfair judgment from referee Vince McMahon. As an eight-year-old kid, I was going crazy at getting this second chance. But now here I am at 25 years old and I'm just left wondering, what did Vince even do wrong? I lost fair and square. I don't think he did anything wrong at all. I think the true villain in all of this is actually Mick Foley. Right. In the N64 classic WrestleMania 2000, you have to take a superstar for a complete year of matches in Road to WrestleMania mode. Keep on winning those matches and you will eventually get a WWE Championship match at SummerSlam. You will eventually lose the championship after a few months of being champion due to Vince taking the title from you and giving it to The Undertaker. Winning the Royal Rumble match is the only way to get the championship match against The Undertaker to finish up the mode, or so you thought. When you've beaten The Undertaker to get the title back, you'll see a cutscene of Shawn Michaels making his way down to the ring to challenge you for a match right now for the title. You accept, and the surprise actual final match of the Road to WrestleMania mode takes place. I've only had this title for like 20 seconds, Sean. Could you not give me at least a minute to enjoy the victory? Here, have a Stone Cold Stunner for ruining my WrestleMania victory celebration. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm just taking out the trash. WWE 12's Road to WrestleMania mode was split into three parts, the villain, the outsider, and lastly, the hero section, as you create in your own custom character to play the role of Jacob Cass. The big storyline in this part of the Road to WrestleMania mode is that former WCW superstars have reunited to invade the Raw brand and try to take the show over to replace it with WCW's weekly Monday Night TV show, Nitro. A match for control of Monday Night Raw takes place at WrestleMania, with Jacob Cass teaming up with Triple H on WWE's side, and with Rey Mysterio and Kevin Nash teaming up for Team WCW. WCW end up winning this match and by doing so they have officially taken over control of Monday Night Raw with Nitro taking its place. The game is now over, WCW have won and um, Triple H literally jobbed after having less than a minute in the match. Which is actually a genuinely crazier scenario than WCW Monday Nitro taking over Raw. So the credits begin to roll and it's looking like the story is about to end with WCW finally winning. That's it King. That's the end. The end of Monday Night Raw. An evening which will live in infamy. Surprise! That's right, you aren't in the wrong decade. Monday Night Raw is no more. Tonight is a triumphant return of Monday Nitro. Of course the game isn't over. When does WCW end up coming out as the winner of anything? Nice try, however, but I don't think it's fooled anyone. The return of Nitro lasts about two weeks, with WWE winning a match to bring back Monday Night Raw. And once again, rest in peace WCW.
In SmackDown vs Raw 2010's Road to WrestleMania mode, you can create your own custom character and take him through a storyline that leads you to facing Mr. McMahon at WrestleMania. Well, the WrestleMania match actually doesn't start like that, as Vince tries to stack the odds against you by turning the match into a gauntlet match, with you having to defeat Santino and Mark Henry first. Defeat them and you finally get your one-on-one -on -one match with Vince, with a slight disadvantage of you being damaged already because of the previous two matches. Once you have defeated Mr. McMahon, a cutscene will play of you celebrating the victory. It all looks like it's about to come to an end, and then this happens. This match isn't over yet. You haven't suffered enough. I'm changing the rules. Now ring the bell. Can he do this? He's the boss. He can do what he wants. Another match takes place between you and Vince, although this time it's a first blood match. And with that choice of match, I think we cracked Vince in the head enough times to make him think it was 1998 all over again or something. Anyway, once you defeat Vince, you will once again think it's all over, but surprise, it's not over. And now it's a match between you and the team of Santino and Mark Henry. It was also at this point that my controller decided to completely flatline on me. So I guess the story ends for me here. If you owned a controller that wasn't as weak as WWE 2K15, then you'll know that you beat both of these guys and then end WrestleMania off by making Vince McMahon dance like a chicken whilst wearing a chicken head. Somehow that is actually a better ending to a Wrestlemania than most actual Wrestlemania events these days. In Smackdown here comes the pain season mode, you play for a full year of matches and storylines whilst trying to earn enough superstar points to get a title match against a WWE or world champion. Once you are the champion, and if you can hold on to it until Wrestlemania, you will be defending that title in the Wrestlemania main event. If you win that match and successfully defend the title, you will see the two superstars celebrating together to end Wrestlemania off. The end cutscene of your superstar interacting with the other superstars backstage will play, and then the credits will begin to roll. Technically the season mode is over, and if you actually start a new season Season, carry over the data from the previous season you played and then choose the exact same superstar to play as then you'll actually get a storyline that continues on from what happened at Wrestlemania. The superstar who lost at Wrestlemania will interrupt your promo and reference the match that they lost and how they won a rematch which begins another four week rivalry between the two of you and Rikishi is there for some reason. Let's hope no one gets run over for The Rock. A sign of respect from Triple H? We have truly seen it all. I think I'm going to be sick. In WWE 2K19's My Career Mode, you take control of Buzz as you go through various storylines before winning the Universal title, which you hold on for for about 10 minutes before dropping it to AJ Styles after a sneaky Money in the Bank cash-in. You get the rematch at WrestleMania and you win back the title. Buzz has a big celebration, earns the respect of Triple H. At this point, it does look like the story is over. Well, it is pretty much over in one way, but your career does kind of continue after the actual story ends as you can continue to defend your newly won Universal title in My Career Mode with firstly AJ Styles demanding a universal title rematch at Backlash in a match type of your choosing. The question is, which is more important to you, huh? Is that title more important to you than the health of your own father? And lastly, going back to SmackDown vs Raw 2010, in Randy Orton's WrestleMania story, you will get into a rivalry with his former legacy members Ted DiBiase Jr and Cody Rhodes, with the WrestleMania main event world title lumberjack match being a triple threat match. I say it was a triple threat match, but it was pretty much a 5 on 1 handicap match, if you include the three lumberjacks outside the ring who will not attack Ted or Cody, just you, so the odds are completely stacked against you. Once you get the hard fought win, it looks like Randy will just pose with the world title to end his story, but you will actually get challenged to a fight by the father of whoever you just pinned. Say what you want about Randy Orton, but he has every right to celebrate after that performance. He's dirty, he's egotistical, but what a champion! Well done, Randy. I've never doubted your skills. You beat my son fair and square. But I still have a little fight in me. And I think I owe you a little sum of it. <laughs> Wait! Did the Million Dollar Man just challenge Randy Orton to a match? It sounds like he still wants to teach Randy a lesson. So I'll be going up against the Million Dollar Man in a match to actually end WrestleMania. 
So that was the seven times that you thought a WWE game was about to end, but in actual fact there was still a little bit more to do to actually finish up the story. If there's any other times where this happened in WWE games, then let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to give it a like. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then make sure to do with notifications turned on, because there's many videos incoming, and you're going to want to be the first to know when they're up. Thanks as always for watching the video, and I'll see you all on the next one.